Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're jumping down into the world of VeChain, taking a look at what's been going on most recently and kind of what I would expect to happen next. As I get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And um, you know, if you have not yet joined us in Discord, the link is in the description down below it's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 it's completely free and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check that out today okay guys i'm gonna waste no more time let's jump right down into this right so and um, there's a lot of things that have been going on with v chain and there's some concerns that they have with the recent kind of structures um but i think for the most part we're heading into the general direction that we've been talking about for a little while now so um, let's actually start off by um zooming out right we're going to just take a look at this daily uh, move here so you can see that we have this lower target right it's a, basically a big abc structure right and um, just coming down into this low range right we had this kind of mapped out um between 1.7 and 1.9 cent i think it is and um, but we refined that a little bit lower on the um on the smaller time frames which we'll go into that in a moment now when we take a look at this move we can see that this is a pretty obvious wave four move and then we can start to see this uh this five wave move coming on down right and inside this uh this five wave move we're tracking another five wave move right and uh, we can see five waves in here and there's also five waves inside our final fifth wave the only issue that we have is actually pulling back down um is whether or not we are going to be heading into an overextension or we are going to see you know uh or just a single wave being overextended and um that's really where the concern kind of comes in okay because we have a pretty good low target here but all of a sudden if we start seeing an extended fifth wave at this level um then all of a sudden you know we are talking about maybe going down you know significantly lower i mean i'm talking probably one cent kind of low level right which would be pretty bad for uh, for v chain and vet holders but fantastic for an accumulation zone okay so i think there's a few things to kind of think about here there's obviously a possibility of this it's not set in stone though and the other way of looking at it is we actually have a really uh shallow and barely actually hit the buy to uh, the the accumulation zones before reversing and taking a look at where bitcoin is i think that's the most probable i think we're just going to barely touch um the actual accumulation zone on the higher side of the scale and um, but i do want to kind of just throw that out there that it's possible that we end up with over extensions which of course we'll know once we actually start to move up after a bit of uh um, once we have the asset uh, pull back down right once, once you have these five waves and we bounce up we'll know the structure and we'll know the probability then of reversing and ten being able to take advantage of that but i did want to start out by just saying there's, there's some possibilities here and um, that we do see some over extensions that drop down lower but they're just they're a little bit out of reach right now but they are there so we should acknowledge them okay let's jump into our hourly okay let's uh, bring this up so what we're talking about specifically um is this five wave move to the downside here okay now this five wave move um starts from this zigzag pattern okay so we had five three five structure okay uh, we hit the high point of 2.672 and then we start to pull back down now we have this move and a significant bounce coming up here um and looking at it i would say that this is our yeah it's, it's a very kind of loose wave one if anything Thing, it's going to be a diagonal um, than a five wave structure we then move up and then we pull back down in a pretty significant way here and um, again just finishing this low and then bouncing up into a wave four now looking at this it looks like we have um you know some kind of strange kind of uh, movement just here as well some kind of sideways trading again you know not really looking at this in in too much detail it does look like it is a uh, bear flag so we have the pole we have then this uh, higher high uh, higher lows getting set just down here higher highs getting set up here and um, but it's based on no volume and um, so pulling back and then basically just going to drop down now if this is our wave two which is possible then our wave three is going to be here which means we're basically going to get an overextended wave five meaning that i think we're barely going to touch into our buy zone okay and overextend out of what would be typical of this little micro movement so this is one of what i mean right if we um so we've got a couple of options right we either have this uh five wave move land somewhere here okay and then we bounce up okay this is the real bearish scenario guys um but then we bounce up right we move up and then we have another five wave move coming down and all of a sudden you know we're smashing way past our lower end targets okay and then of course we have another three wave move bounce 
and then additionally another five wave drop okay and again this is where you end up in these real low areas right um so i think there's a possible scenario here for that um i don't think it's probable just yet but something that i'm thinking about and concerned with okay um alternatively as i said we have one overextension inside this wave five and we enter into our buy zone okay and um, so if that is the case um and you know we end up with this what we end up with is a structure that takes us down into this so uh this little first area so we have wave one wave two wave three takes us down here to approximately somewhere between um 2.034 and 2.089 we then bounce up and then we have that final drop coming down into our zone down here okay um and again even that fifth wave there uh you know it might be that actually our third wave has to go deeper and then wave four then wave five something like that right and we basically barely touch in at 1.9 um yeah about 1.9 where is it 1.92 okay so barely touching 1.92 uh, and then essentially you know you reverse from there and you're done right this is our macro fifth wave and it's all kind of done and dusted at that point right and um, that's kind of the, the the hope i guess that we finish there um and in doing so bitcoin's already down here at 15k the more bearish scenario comes from the bearish scenario that bitcoin also has which would be effectively a three wave move up um, and then an additional five wave move dropping down right um taking us into those low points so um that's possible for bitcoin again under the same scenario it all depends on what structures appear afterwards um so for now i think we should really just focus in on on 1.9 or 1.92 um, and then see what happens around here obviously the closer we get to this i can refine it a bit more um but for now you know I, i'm confident that we are reaching a uh, finishing a corrective move okay and i think there's going to be a significant bounce at this point so i think dollar cost averaging uh, you know around 1.92 let's say um would make the most amount of sense of course that target can be refined at a later date um you know would make sense and you know as such we can ride it up with the bounce and if um if the market goes against us and it actually indicates that we are likely to drop down we can come out of those positions um and you know reaccumulate at a later stage right so um with this way we can kind of protect ourselves by jumping in at what we think might be the the bottom of a market um ride it up and if the market turns we can jump out and buy back later uh, at the actual bottom right so we don't want to run the risk of of just kind of you know not buying in here then riding up and then it just continues to run up and we just don't have another low come in right um so we want to kind of use these probabilities to our advantage where we can obviously do remember though that i'm not a financial advisor i cannot give you financial advice all i can do is give you my thoughts and opinions on the data in the charts as i see it none of this should be considered financial advice and um, you should do your own research and you should consult your own financial um you know advisor uh, if you want to um so yeah just kind of bear that in mind i think for me personally i'll be looking at targeting some of these low areas and then um you know from there really riding it on up and when we take a look at the probability from the stochastic rsi we can see that the daily is correcting down nicely finishing this fifth wave low we'll put it into the oversold area along with the weekly and the monthly the eight hourly is already down in the oversold area the four hourly needs to come down the hourly needs to go up and down um so essentially i think by the time we hit 1.92 everything is kind of quite aligned we should be oversold on the monthly monthly oversold on the weekly oversold on the daily oversold on the eight hour oversold on the four hour and well the hour will be wherever the hour is but i think essentially um, we should be in a really good spot to see some pretty good growth to the upside guys i'm gonna leave the video there if you have found this useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you happen to be new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with all that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one